to virtual story time for this week, and we are going to be talking about spring. So we hope you enjoy these great spring stories and an excellent puppet show. And we will catch you after the show. Bye. Bye. So one thing that you'll definitely see a lot of in springtime is mud, right? Because it rains so much and mud is really fun to play in. So let's read a story about it. It's called Mud. One night it happens. Maybe it begins in the warm of the day and night only releases the scent. But it's always at night that it happens. What happens? Someone opening a door will notice earth comes unfrozen. A cold, sweet smell rises in the ground like sap in the snow. You see that, that little boy, he's looking at it. By morning, brown leaves loosen from their frozen drifts and run rattling in the flapping wind. Small scattered stones where the sun has seen them will fall pools of grass. The hills will remember their colors lots of colors. Winter will squish, squook, sop, splat, slurp, melt into mud. Happy mud. Ooh, that looks fun to play with, doesn't it? Stir it and stick it. Dig it, dance it. Do you have a mud dance? But it's pretty good. Gooey, gloppy, mucky, magnificent mud. Come spring, come grass. That's so green. Come green. The end. And I'm going to read you a story called When Spring Comes. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. What color are the flowers? They're pink. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. We don't have snow here, but we can imagine, right? Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain, and more rain, and more rain. What do you think that nest sounds like with all those little baby birds? Probably like tweet, tweet, tweet. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. It does rain a lot in springtime. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. Bunny looks happy to be in the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. What did the cats sound like? Meow. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. That looks like a fun time outside. What did the bees say? Do you know? Bzzz. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. 
you will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. What are we gonna be waiting for? Now you have to wait for summer. The end. The very day that winter ends, Skunk wakes up from dreaming of her friends. She blinks her eyes and shakes her head, then jumps right up and makes her bed. Hooray! My winter nap is done. It's time for me to have some fun. Skunk yawns and stretches, twists and bends, then scurries off to meet her friends. Good morning, turtle, calls out Skunk. Where are you, mole? Hello, chipmunk. Skunk listens hard and smells the air, but does not find them anywhere. Where are my friends? Where can they be? Have all of them forgotten me? Perhaps they hate the way I smell. Skunk stamps her feet and starts to yell, but no one hears Skunk rant and rave, not even Bear inside his cave. Skunk is thirsty, sad, and hot. A drink, she says, would hit the spot. She sighs and gives herself a shake, then slowly trudges to the lake. Skunk's friends are waiting on the sand to welcome Skunk as they had planned. Bunny hops about, oh dear, I thought by now Skunk would be here. She always wakes and takes a drink. Fox sniffs and says, that's her, I think. Hush, says Turtle with a wink. Don't scare her or she'll make a stink. Skunk, squeals Mole, how do you do? We've got a big surprise for you. For months we've planned a talent show. Ready or not, Skunk, here we go. Fox shows Skunk Frog's favorite joke. Frog set laughs so hard he starts to croak. Turtle strikes a skunk-like pose, then dances lightly on his toes. Chipmunk tosses nuts and sticks and teaches Skunk some juggling tricks. Mole dances like an acrobat while Crow flips Bunny from a hat. Snake and Ladybug hum a note and sing a song for Skunk they wrote. Ant swings Beetle by the knees, then lands in front of Skunk with ease. The end, say Beetle, Crow, and Ant. We hope that you enjoyed the show. That's not the end, Skunk starts to rise. I also have a spring surprise. Skunk leaps up to take the stage. She reads the words upon her page. When I wake from my winter sleep, I love to hear the robins peep. I love to smell the sweet spring breeze. I love to see the budding trees. When I wake from my winter's rest, I'll tell you what I love the best. To see my friends down by the lake makes me so glad to be awake. Skunk's friends all clap and make a fuss. We love the poem you wrote for us. And we love you, her friends all sing. They hug and kiss her. Happy spring. The end. Welcome back. I know that you enjoyed that puppet show and we also have, of course, a great craft for you to do as well. We do, and the video for that will go up tomorrow and you are welcome to pick up uh, the supplies for the craft either curbside, we'll bring it out to your car, or you can come into the library and pick it up. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you have a super week.